most AI video generators work like this. You give them a prompt, they generate something, and you either accept what you get or start over. Vista just changed that equation completely. Google's new system doesn't retrain. It doesn't fine tune on new data. Instead, it does something far more unusual. It teaches itself how to improve by rewriting its own instructions, critiquing its mistakes, and iterating until the output looks genuinely good. In head-to-head -head tests, Vista beat V3, Google's own flagship video model, with a 60% win rate. The implications are staggering. We might be witnessing the birth of AI video that literally evolves in real time. Here's what makes Vista fundamentally different. When you give it a video concept, it doesn't immediately start generating. First, it breaks down your idea into a structured plan, scene by scene. Each scene gets deconstructed into nine specific properties. Duration, scene type, characters present, actions occurring, dialogue spoken, visual environment, camera work, accompanying sounds, and overall mood. This isn't just organizational housekeeping. By mapping exactly what should happen and when, Vista creates a framework that subsequent iterations can refine against. Instead of hoping a single prompt captures everything, the system builds a blueprint that can be methodically improved. Then comes the generation phase. Vista creates multiple video candidates and runs them through what researchers call a tournament-based evaluation system. Videos compete head-to-head -head in pairwise comparisons, with winners advancing like a bracket competition. But before any comparison happens, the system generates what it calls probing critiques for each video, essentially analyzing every candidate first, then using those insights to make fairer judgments. Think about what this means. The AI isn't blindly picking favorites. It's examining what makes each video work or fail, building an understanding of quality, then applying that understanding to select the best option. Once Vista selects the top performing video from the tournament, things get even more sophisticated. The system deploys a trio of specialized judges to critique the winner across three dimensions, visual quality, audio quality, and contextual accuracy. Within each dimension, there's a hierarchical evaluation structure inspired by actual legal decision processes. A normal judge scores the video on standard metrics. An adversarial judge actively searches for problems and tries to poke holes in the quality, essentially playing devil's advocate. Then a meta judge synthesizes both perspectives, weighing their assessments to reach a balanced conclusion. This jury style setup exists because single judge evaluation misses things. One perspective might overlook flaws, another catches immediately. By forcing multiple viewpoints, including one specifically designed to find problems, Vista catches issues that simpler systems ignore. The metrics themselves are remarkably detailed. For visual assessment, judges examine visual fidelity, motion dynamics, temporal consistency, camera focus, and visual safety. Audio evaluation covers audio quality, audio video alignment, and audio safety. Context analysis checks situational appropriateness, semantic coherence, text video alignment, physical common sense, engagement level, and video format elements like smooth beginnings, endings, and transitions. After comprehensive critique across all dimensions, Vista activates what researchers call a deep thinking prompting agent to rewrite the original instructions. This isn't a quick tweak or surface level adjustment. The agent works through six distinct reasoning steps before making any changes. First, it identifies what's broken based on low scores from the judges. Second, it clarifies what the expected outcome should actually be. Third, it checks whether the prompt contains sufficient detail to achieve that outcome. Fourth, it determines whether failures stem from model limitations or inadequate prompting. Fifth, it detects conflicts or vague language that might confuse the generator. Finally, it proposes targeted modifications, addressing the specific problems identified. Only after this complete introspection does the system sample new, improved prompts. Then, the entire cycle repeats. New videos get generated from the refined prompts. The tournament selects the best candidate. The jury delivers fresh critiques. The deep thinking agent rewrites the prompt again. By default, Vista runs five iterations, one initialization round and four self-improvement loops. In each iteration, it samples five prompts with three variants each, generating two videos per prompt. That's 30 videos per iteration, a massive amount of test time compute. But the results justify the expense. The benchmark data tells a compelling story. Researchers tested Vista on two datasets, one containing single-scene prompts from existing video generation benchmarks, another featuring multi-scene sequences from an internal collection. The first dataset had 100 prompts, the second contained 161. When compared to direct prompting, 
just feeding the raw user prompt directly to the generator with zero optimization, Vista performed dramatically better. By the fifth iteration, it was winning 45.9% of single scene tests and 46.3% of multi scene comparisons. The gap between wins and losses hovered around 32 to 35 percentage points. That's not marginal improvement, that's a fundamental quality difference. They also tested Vista against other optimization methods Visual Self Refine. Google Cloud's rewrite tool, and VPO. Those approaches showed mixed or inconsistent improvements. Sometimes they actually got worse with more iterations. Visual Self Refine started strong, but plateaued quickly. VPO and rewrite bounced around without clear trends. Vista, by contrast, improved steadily with every iteration, evidence that it's genuinely learning rather than just getting lucky with better samples. To validate these findings, researchers brought in five annotators experienced in prompt optimization to compare Vista's results against the best competing models after five iterations. Vista won 66.4% of those human evaluations. Expert evaluators rating full optimization runs on a 1 to 5 scale gave Vista an average score of 3.78, while the next best baseline scored only 3.33. Vista runs on Gemini 2.5 Flash as its multimodal large language model and V3 as its video generator, both state-of-the-art systems. Interestingly, researchers also tested it with V2, a weaker model, to see if the optimization framework could compensate for inferior underlying technology. Vista still improved performance with V2, pushing win rates to 23.8% for single scene and 33.3% for multi-scene generation. Those numbers aren't as strong as with V3, which makes sense. V2 simply can't leverage all the detailed optimization Vista provides, but the fact that it works at all with a less capable model suggests the framework generalizes beyond any single generator. The computational cost is substantial. Vista uses approximately 700,000 tokens per iteration on average, with most coming from the tournament selection phase, where each video input exceeds 2,000 tokens. Generating around 28 videos per iteration isn't cheap, but performance scales with compute, which validates the approach. When researchers pushed Vista to 20 iterations in single scene tests, it kept improving steadily, while the best baseline plateaued and became noisy. Multi scene tests showed the same trend. Vista maintained a consistent upward trajectory while baselines stalled. Ablation testing revealed that every component of Vista's architecture contributes meaningfully. Remove video planning and quality drops. Eliminate the tournament system and results become unstable. Use only one judge instead of three and multi-scene generation breaks. Delete the deep thinking agent and progress stops entirely. One particularly interesting behavior involves how Vista handles hallucinations. V3, like most video models, sometimes generates elements that weren't requested, random text overlays, music when none was specified, objects appearing or disappearing impossibly, characters moving in physically nonsensical ways. Vista reduces these errors by enforcing strict constraints during planning and applying penalties during selection if videos violate those constraints. Unless users explicitly request captions, the model penalizes videos containing them. Same for music or voiceovers. It also penalizes videos where objects or characters move at unnatural speeds or in impossible directions. This filtering eliminates much of the weirdness that plagues other generators. The system also dramatically improves instruction following. In one test, researchers requested a factory scene featuring a blade battery on a conveyor belt, a yellow industrial robot, and a screen displaying a yield percentage in simplified Chinese. Direct prompting failed to include the robot or generated incorrect text. Vista executed perfectly. Another test requested gremlins on a wooden roller coaster moving forward while the camera tracked backward. Direct prompting generated gremlins moving backward at absurd speeds, visually ridiculous and physically impossible. Vista fixed it. Gremlins forward, camera backward, everything smooth and coherent. These aren't minor improvements, they're the difference between usable content and immediate deletion. Vista represents a significant shift in AI development philosophy, test time optimization. Instead of training bigger models or fine-tuning on specific tasks, you invest compute at inference time to search for better outputs. This is the same approach powering reasoning models that solve complex problems by thinking longer before answering. This is the first black box test time prompt optimization framework specifically designed for video generation. 
previous methods either required white box access to model internals or focused narrowly on specific aspects like object presence or content safety. Vista is the first system to jointly optimize visual, audio, and contextual dimensions in one unified loop. Vista has constraints. The system depends on multimodal language models as judges, which can introduce bias. Human evaluations help balance that bias, but they're expensive and don't scale well. The quality metrics assume certain creative styles that might not fit every context, and since Vista's performance depends on underlying model capabilities, it can only improve as those models improve. It's powerful, but not magic. Still, the results speak clearly. Vista beat V3 in 60% of tests, won 66.4% of human evaluations, and showed steady improvement with each iteration. It followed instructions better, reduced hallucinations, handled multi-scene videos more smoothly, and kept audio and visuals synchronized, all at test time without retraining. That's a massive leap for automated video creation, opening possibilities for media, marketing, education, and entertainment. With self-optimizing generation, you can reduce production costs, accelerate workflows, and scale content creation like never before. The question now isn't whether this technology works, it's how far it can go.